up Brad? It's your boy Amari back again with another reaction video. Today we are getting into a video that is the top 10 fastest male rappers in K-pop. This video came about because I did a video that I will link up in the top right corner about the best male vocalist in K-pop and people wanted me to do a similar video for rapping but I couldn't find a like somewhat up-to-date best rapper video that wasn't super long and so uh, if you guys find one and would like me to still do one definitely drop it in the comment section down below or I might do it on patreon if you guys are interested on patreon but anyway we're gonna get into this video because in looking for that video I saw this video and it was interesting and I was like okay I'll make a video on this so that's how we got here that is that is the long-winded explanation of how, how we got to this video. Hopefully you guys are having a great day and are interested in this video because I'm definitely interested in this video. So we're gonna get into this and we're gonna see what we have for us. Hopefully they show like clips of them rapping and it's not just, hey, this person raps this many syllables. Like I wanna see, I wanna feel it, you know, in my bones. I wanna, I wanna see the craziness. Also, I wanna see if there are any rappers on here that I know of already. I haven't reacted to that many groups so far, but I've reacted to enough groups that I feel like some people should appear on here. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this video. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share not to miss any more content like this. And I'll be seeing all you guys on the other side. Okay, just bear with me for three minutes or less so I can tell you guys how this is working because this isn't something I just Googled and I'm giving you guys regurgitated information you already know. This is something I've worked four and a half years on listening to 90 plus rappers discographies from Korea and listen. Okay, was not expecting that level of research in this. So uh, shout out to this guy whose name is Car K-Pop. Shout out to you for the level of research that you did. Listening to all their songs to find out their fastest raps. And this is all the work for me, and I'm pretty proud of it. I just I want to make sure you guys understand where I'm coming from when I give you this, because this isn't the status quo. Yoongi is the fast, Changbin's the fastest rapper. This isn't the status quo thing. This is the accurate thing. So if you remember, last year around this time, I made this video, and I, I'm pretty happy with it. It was pretty accurate for the time, but since then, I've looked at more raps, more idols that I didn't look at back then. I've looked at new songs that have come out. I've looked at new idols that have come up, and... Stuff's changed, and I feel like I need to update this because it's an ever-changing thing, the fastest raps in K-pop. It's not a constant same thing for the rest of eternity, right? So there's two new members into this list from this last year. There are a bunch of position switches with new songs in here and everything, and I'm going to give you this to all to you guys, but first we just need to go over the rules really quick. We can't just have chaos everywhere with no rules. So first off, the first rule is they have to be a K-pop idol. Basically, they just have to be in a K-pop group. Simple as that. I, I, we're not counting outsider or timey or K hip hop rappers. They have to be. Question. I, I still don't get the big distinction between what makes someone an idol and not an idol. From an outside Western perspective, I don't see the difference between like a, a K hip hop group and a idol group other than one also includes singers. So basically just, just more explanation in the comment section on what, what, is the distinction between just like a Korean pop singer or a Korean rapper and a Korean idol singer and a Korean idol rapper, other than the fact that I guess idols are more often in groups, but not all the time. Cause I know like IU is an idol, but not in a group. And also their hip hop group. I'm, I'm confused is what I'm saying. So more information, please. That would be super helpful. Thank you be a Korean idol in a K-pop group. Rule two, in that K-pop group, they need to be a rapper in some way, shape, or form, officially, if there is an official line for that. They have, it can't just be like Shi Yun from Dreamcatcher, who's a main vocal doing a karaoke rapper, or Jungkook covering Outsider, or Jin talking fast. Rule number three, this is based on an eight second constant, and this is the part that a lot of people don't follow me with, and uh, I'm, it's okay, and I'm going to do my best to explain it to you. But basically, the rapper has to do that fast rap within eight seconds. I do this because that's roughly four bars in a K-pop song. And I feel that's enough time for it to be considered a rap. And that's what a lot of K-pop raps are, are just four bars. So I feel that's pretty fair. And I don't really want to consider a one second... Like a full out rap when someone else does the same amount of syllables over the span of eight seconds. So I think it's pretty fair to compare everyone with the same amount of time, with the same amount of chance to get amount of syllables in there. 
I feel like having everyone with the same time constant is super fair. So we do it in an 8 second constant. And then final rule number 4, it has to be an officially released song or an unofficially released song. So live stages like Monster X and Sambangcha, which they've done once or twice just on a live stage, do not count because there's no official audio release to it. Or like uh, Jong Sub in K-pop star Sw- Sex's Swing Baby, there's no official audio to that. It's just him performing it live once. So that won't count as well. And any covers do not count as well. It's only original songs released by that artist. So yeah, there we go. Now let me get into some honorable mentions. Okay, before we get into honorable mentions, I do like these rules a lot. I think they're really good. I think adding rules makes things clearer for him making the video and for us watching the video. However, I don't know about that fourth rule. I feel like maybe not the covers because you're just rapping someone else's rap. So maybe count the original person who created the song who they're rapping. But I don't know why he wouldn't count people rapping on stage as a qualifier, I guess. But also, if they're rapping something on stage that's not a cover, it's probably going to be an original song that has original audio. Maybe that's stupid for me to think. I don't know. I don't know. I just, that second part seemed weird to me. But as far as like doing covers, I agree. Why Why would you count a cover? I could rap a super fast cover. I mean, people on YouTube all the time do like Rap God or Busta Rhymes verse from literally any song because he's, he's crazy. Yeah, I don't know that, that I would count that as being a fast rapper for you all because i know a lot of you going to be asking about your favorite rapper and where they are so i'm going to give you the 10 that barely missed out on this list as well as the ones that are most talked about so first off we have number 11 is minnow of winner who hits eight and a half syllables per second the tie for number 12 is actually hyunjin of stray kids who was on the list last year also minnow was um who hit 8.38 syllables per second who's tied with mingi from ats uh and he's tied with sunu of the boys also hitting that following that we have i know these groups yay uh i don't know them well enough to like distinguish which rapper he's referring to unfortunately it's it's coming in the future you know but uh i do know i i'm at least aware of these groups that he is mentioning and this sounds really fast in my brain 8.3 and whatnot syllables per second but hopefully as the video goes on he starts to show examples because then it can really you know you feel the speed chanyol of exo and then after them we have a huge tie between wanu of 17 g dragon of big bang juhan of monster x and tag of golden child anyways let's get into this with number 10 and we're gonna start off with the vix rapper of ravi and ravi hits 8.63 syllables per second in his solo song So I guess this part got copyright or something. Entry to our list. So it's really awesome to see a, a new person come on here. This is a recently released song from last year after I made this. Number nine, I can't play the audio too, but I'll play the video real quick. Um, it's top in Doom Dada. You guys all know the part. You probably have heard it before. He I hits 8.75 syllables per second here over an eight second constant. And it's a pretty iconic part. I recommend go checking it out. It's at the end of the song if you want to hear it, but I can't play. Bro, I'm going to cry if I made this whole video and I can't hear any of the rapping. This is this is going to be so bad. I'm gonna have to go listen to all these songs in my private, and then come back in the outro. I'll be like, oh my god, these people are amazing. Because copyright and YG is gonna copyright strike the fuck out of me if I do. So I'm sorry, top. I can't play you. But we can move on to number eight, where we have another YG rapper, and this one is one of the best in K-pop, Bobby of Icon. And Bobby in his solo YGGR from Show Me The Money, the remix of that song, Bobby hits nine syllables per second right here. Now moving up, we're at number... Oh, ho, ho, ho. So we finally got some audio. Thank God. Uh, oh, ho, oh, oh my God. I don't know anything about Icon. Like at all, but I feel like I've heard this person's name before. Obviously, I've heard the name Bobby, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like I've heard of this rapper before, but uh, that that was hard. That was like super crazy. Like, oh my God. Right here. 
Now, moving up, we're at number <clears> six because we have a tie. So, you have two songs tied for number six. So we can't talk number seven. And the first one we'll talk about is Han Ji Sung from Stray Kids. He hits 9.25 syllables per second in this part of I Got It, the solo song he released last fall. <laughs> Now tied with Hanji. Hold on, before we go on, that beat was hard too. Like, oh, oh, let me know if you want me to react to that, cause that that sounded great. I'm asking, cause if you don't want me to react to it, I'm gonna just go listen to it on my own. But I don't want to like ruin the reaction. You feel me? Sung is a rapper that we had on here last year, and he's released some fast stuff just in a shorter amount of time more recently. And this is Hanze of Victim. He's about to have a mixtape in next week, and I'm super excited. So, Hanze Evicton in Black Dog right here, 9.25 syllables per second. Now, this next guy is probably the most popular fast rapper of K-pop because he's in the biggest group. And this is August D or Suga of BTS, and he hits 9.38 syllables per second in Cypher 2. Now, you're going to see the faster version, so I don't get copyrighted, but the thing is, with the faster version he hits less syllables in a shorter amount of time even though it would average out in that short amount of time to be faster it's really weird because of the eight second constant rule we can't use it because it's basically the same result or roughly the same so yeah if i was doing a six second constant then that would definitely be a lot higher up uh, number four yes yes Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let me let me fix my mic. Probably just blew out your eardrums, but uh, that was fire. I've seen that clip before, and I'm still every single time. It's it's so good. Like that's that's so. Good. I don't know if any of you guys have tried to rap before. Rapping fast is harder than some people think, and it is easier than some people think. However, nothing about that is easy. That was bananas. I still, my goodness. And he did that all in one breath. Like, man's got lungs of steel. It's ridiculous. Anyway, let's continue. We have a super junior rapper known as Unhook, who in his solo from 2015, or a super junior solo, called Dear 2, he hits 9.63 syllables per second right here. <laughs> Now, entering the top three, we have what a lot of people know as the fastest rapper in K-pop now because of his weekly idol thing. Uh, unfortunately, because of the rules, I can't include that. Chongbin of Stray Kids. He hits 9.75 syllables per second in this song from 3 Raja called Double Knot. Now, number two is... So, Three Racha, if I'm not mistaken, is their three rappers who are also the songwriters and producers for their group, correct? Are they all, like, really fast, or is there, like, one of them known for rapping faster than the other? Because I know, like, in a lot of rap lines, they the rappers have different styles, and I'm just curious if he is their fast rapper in the group, or... If they all rap fast, he just happens to be the fastest. I'm just curious. I I react to a couple songs from that group, and I want to know more about them. That's why I'm asking about them, or about him. Well, I guess I, I guess I'm asking about all of them. But yeah. Surprisingly, a lot of people don't know this, but it's RM of BTS. He is the fastest rapper of BTS and second fastest rapper in K-pop because in his solo joke, he hits 9.88 syllables per second, and it's fucking amazing. And no one gives this song enough credit or this speed enough credit when they talk about fast raps, which I don't understand why. But yeah, here you go. And finally, the number one spot everyone was waiting for. This is... Z Hold on, before we get to that. Uh, hey, Zico. I know him. Too. Anyway. Um, what was I going to say? You guys told me to react to that song. It's on my list. I'm going to react to it. Pinky Promise. There's a lot of stuff on my list. Sorry. But that's crazy. I didn't know that RM was faster than Suga because, like, literally, you, you never hear that. Like, all anybody ever talks about is how fast of a rapper that Suga is, which he is, and he's insane. 
but it's usually like RM's really deep and really creative with the wordplay and Sugar's really fast. And so seeing RM rap that fast was very shocking to me. So just thought I'd point that out. Shia. Zico of Block B, the soul, he's had so many cool solos and everything. He's been underground before Block B, but man, no one talks about him as a fast rapper enough because in this song, Cox, as you all probably know if you watched the video last year, it's still number one. He had 10.13 syllables per second in Cox. <laughs> So that's going to do it. I'm just going to end the video. I hope you enjoyed this update and feel free to spread it around. Don't trust Google. Google just compiles a bunch of different numbers from all over the place. I promise you, Google does not know what they're talking about because it was a Facebook post with 20 likes that was giving everyone the fastest rappers, which made no sense. But anyways, <laughs> if you have any questions, if, if, if I'm wrong about something, if I, there's a rapper I don't know, tell me. I can add them to the list. It's me. It's me you don't know about. <laughs> not <laughs> A lot of people are going to be super upset I did that. I don't care. I make these jokes for myself. If you don't laugh, like, that's okay. I have to enjoy this because I make no money off this. I'm super broke. So, um, <laughs> yeah, that was really funny. But this was a really good video. Shouts out to this guy, Car, Car K-Pop. Can make an update next year. As you saw, I added in Unhook and Ravi this year. So if there's new rap that comes out, feel free to tell me. I love doing this. I'm going to keep doing it. And hopefully we can get some new rappers in here too. And here's some new fast raps. And just to finish this video off, fast rapping is not good rapping inherently. Okay? I think we're all clear on that. This is not about good rapping. It's just talk about fun statistics of speed. I just want to make that clear. Because I'm going to have someone comment saying, fast rapping doesn't mean good rapping. I know! It's just for fun! I don't know what you guys want me to do! Yeah, I really liked that video. That <laughs> that video was really cool. Um, I liked his little his little tidbit at the end where he was like, "Fast rapping is not good rapping," which is true because you can say a lot of bullshit really quickly, and uh, it would still be fast. It would not be good. But based on the experience that I have with rappers in K-pop so far, they kind of make the most of their their short opportunities in their songs. Short being that if it's not a rap line song then they only get like he said four bars which is not not a lot of, of space to rap like it's one fourth of a verse it's it's not a lot of time so you gotta kind of you know make it count that was probably really loud guys sorry Let's see what i can do with the audio and editing it's just uh I'm just trying to drive home a point and i instead deafened half of the people watching this video sorry for the rest of you who can still hear me let me know if you guys want me to react to any of those rappers groups songs um or anything i actually really like rap even though i end up reacting to a lot more like vocal line stuff and a lot more like vocal-esque stuff because that's what gets the views and i'm trying to eat but um i do really like rap and i do really like the rappers that i've come across in k-pop it's actually the more surprising part of K-pop for me was not expecting a bunch of Korean dudes who are so pretty to be some of the best rappers on the planet, but here we are, and now I'm a K-pop stan. But thank you guys for being here. I will be seeing all of you guys here on the channel next time. Like I said before, definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share so YouTube can actually show this video to people and we can grow. So thank you for all of that, and I'll be seeing all of you guys here next time.